this lift is out of service because me and Aaron are messing about with it. So now we go to the first set of tower blocks and into the lift, which is an old Hammond Chaplin's lift, which has been fucked about with. Yep, it's been modernised. So then, this lift onto property service and the message is really stupid. It goes, this lift is out of service under firefighters control. This lift is out of service under firefighters control. What a stupid message. First is the incorrect message and secondly it's a bosh of two different messages. So stupid. So then, what should we do first? Let's surf it. Now up to the roof and look at his roof area on this tower block. What shall we look at first? Let's look at the caretaker's room. It's like his weird little room where a caretaker or building site manager or whatever the fuck he's called would sit in his full of stuff. It's like his office and it looks a bit trashed. Yeah, other people have been up here messing about with the place. There's an old computer which also doesn't work. Yeah, nothing much works in here. So then out we go onto the roof. And this is actually a really nice roof area. What shall we do first? Let's first go along to the ladder up to the scaffolding. So we go up on the scaffolding. I'm not meant to be up here. And can we look down? Woohoo! So then along we go into the tank room. And yep, it's got water tanks in it. And along we go to the other bit of scaffolding. Hello everyone, I'm on the scaffolding. And now. Here is some weird little scaffolding lift thing. How do I move this pulley thing? It doesn't really move that much. And now back down to the roof area and up I go onto the upper roof. There's no parapet up here. Long way down. Woohoo, no parapet. That's a long way down. And now the motor room was locked. Grr. So there we go to the ground floor. Let's look around some of the various spooky bits on the ground floor of this tower. And now, across the way we go to the tower opposite and lifts here pretty much the same as I didn't film him. And this door is alarmed, authorised access only. Well, this side's pretty old because firstly it says there's roof access at certain times which it isn't anymore. Secondly, it says CCTV cameras in use which there are cameras about they don't work. Thirdly, the door is not alarmed so through the door we go and the motor room's also locked. But not locked very well because we managed to get into it. And here is the motors. Hands and champ this. Sandy have got less the controls. Before this they used to have Thames Valley controls because all the instruction manuals of Thames Valley controls are still here. They probably relay logic originally so this is the second mod of these lifts which is a bit depressing. Let's do some maintenance! And here's the thing that oils the lifts. Let's apply some oil to it. Oh the people in town appreciate us coming in and maintaining our lifts for them. Despite the fact we're completely unauthorised to do any of this. So then, here's Leicester Controls. Do I really need to show you Leicester Controls again? They all look very much the same. They are so shit. And there's a hatch down to the floor below. Hello, lift. Anyone waiting for the lift? No, better not be, because I'll see you. I'm up here. And let's take a look at the caretaker's room in this tower. And here it is, looking very yucky. And now, down to the ground floor we go, and let's take a look in the lift pit. How many needles can we see? I often get needles in the pit, there's always warning signs about it. 
Can't see any needles. And see what looks like blood, although it's probably not blood. And along we go and take a look at what's on the ground floor of this tower. And there's some various rooms with pipes and crap. So then, along we go to the next tower, which is a modern tower. So this tower is actually fairly tall. It's got 18 floors. So what sort of lift do you think it is? Especially since this is a modern tower, what would you think would suit 18 floors? An Arona? No, they're too flimsy for 18 floors. Well, that's right, they've got an Arona. Seriously, they actually have an Arona. Here it is. This is not your new Arona. This is the um, previous model, but it doesn't have the worm drive. It has the um, motor. It looks a bit like a Gen 2, so it's got later motor, but the older buttons. Yeah, it's so flimsy. And when we opened this up, we were pretty shocked to see quite how flimsy this lift is. First of all, in the lift itself, there is no alarm. Both alarm buttons do not work. They don't make a phone call, nor do they sound an actual alarm. That's absolutely ridiculous. No one would know if you got stuck in this lift. It's crazy. Man, these lifts are so cheap. They are really bad. So then, open up the lift, and what joys do we get to see on top of it? A cheap, flimsy lift, and typical of owner car top control, with the go button not in between the up and down buttons, which is badly designed. And it is flimsy. The handrails on this lift just wobble all over the place. If you lent on it too much, they just fall off. And loads of wires. The engineers didn't do a very neat job here. It is pretty bad. And look at a 2 to 1 cabling. Whether 2 to 1 cabling is attached to the top of the shaft, is it? Attach are so flimsily. I've never seen two to one cabling just so flimsily attached. It looks like it just fall down. This is so cheap. So then, let's take a ride on top of this lift at full speed, which is one and a half meters a second. Thank <laughs> you. 